Hi everyone, Joe here with another Fallout 76 video. This is the second of three reviews I'll be doing on the rewards we can earn during Season 1 of the Legendary Run. So let's jump in! Chapter 2. Battle at the Black Hole! As I mentioned in the episode on Chapter 1, a lot of the rewards are repetitive. You can check out that video by clicking the link above, if you'd like to learn my thoughts on the supply caches, legendary script, lunch boxes, atoms, gold bullion, caps, perk cards, fireworks, and the ghillie armor skins that you can earn throughout the run. Having said that, let's take a look at the unique rewards we can get in Chapter 2. First, we'll look at the Future Tech Camp Device. Or, actually, we won't look at it because, as I understand it, the Camp Device skins are bugged and are disabled at the moment. Frankly, I don't like that they gave a reward that we can't actually use. Thanks again, Bethesda. Moving on from what's possibly the worst reward to one of the best. Let me show you the giant Sheep Squatch plushie. This is one of my favorite rewards. These little guys are popping up in camps all over the wasteland. As you can see, the giant Sheep Squatch plushie has pride of place in my collection. There are a couple of weapon skins you can earn in Chapter 2. The first one we'll look at is the Blood Eagle Super Sledge skin. I like how it makes the sledge look like it's covered in blood. Let's have a close-up look at it. If I had a character that actually used Super Sledges, I might consider actually using this skin. The second skin is the Dark Matter Combat Rifle skin. It changes the paint scheme to a matte black. I think it looks pretty cool and I'd love to use it with my Stealth Commando character. Here's a closer look at it. Isn't that pretty? Unfortunately, you can't apply it to the Fixer, which is a little disappointing. From weapon skins, we're now going to go to a camp decoration. Next, we're going to look at the Hanging Raider Cage. I really like this decoration. It's got the right level of creepiness. It's got a corpse in the cage. If I work on a Raider Camp, this is definitely on the build list. Now, here's another one I've been excited to earn. It's the Stars and Planets Wallpaper, the upgrade to the Stars Wallpaper from Chapter 1. This looks fantastic. I love how it glows in the dark and I'm planning on using it wherever I can. I'm now going to show off the two photo mode rewards at the same time. Here is the adventure photo mode frame and the Uncle Sam pose. The frame is okay, but I really like the Uncle Sam pose. Don't be surprised if you see me use it in future videos. Let's see how the pose looks in, in power armor. The Brotherhood wants you! Eh, maybe not. And finally, I'm going to show you all three of the Power Armor paint jobs you can get in Chapter 2. Here is the Atomic Onslaught Excavator paint job. This one looks pretty solid. I like it. Next, the Atomic Onslaught T60 paint job. And here is the Atomic Onslaught X01 paint job. Again, I think these are very well done. But to be honest, I'm probably going to keep my Brotherhood Knight paint for the T60 Power Armor. It's just a thing for me. And those are all of the unique rewards you can earn in Chapter 2 of Season 1 of the Legendary Run. Let me know what you think of the Legendary Run, uh, the rewards you can earn from the Legendary Run, or any videos you'd like to see in the future. And, as always... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time with another Fallout 76 video.